Hello, Blender fans. Today, I'm going to create an amazing blue crystal, procedural crystal in the Blender 2.93. Okay, so let's start with me. And I know that you are very excited just like me because we are going to be create an amazing crystal. And I will describe you about step by step then how to create this type of crystal in Blender 2.93. So let's start with me without wasting time. Okay, so what we do now, just go here and take another file. Let's create, just go here, add a cube here. Okay, it's looking very good. Go to the modifiers and add a subdivision surface modifier. Take the value to four. No, not 45, only four. Okay, this look good. So what we do now, just go here and add a displacement modifier. Add a new, go here textures and add a Warner texture. The Warner texture is to help you to increase and in creating the crystal type of weightage. Okay, so what we do now, decrease Increase the size now. Go here, add a shade smooth. Okay, friends. So go to the tab mode. Go here and okay. So let's create a crystal. Go here. Increase the value. Increase the value. Increase the value. You can create your own and the random size of what you want. Okay. So Go here in the object mode. Now my crystal is ready. So what we do now, go to the shading tab. Let's start shading. This is the main part to create an amazing crystal, okay? So what we do now, go here, add a new. First of all, delete this principal BSDF. Okay, just go here and you will going to create this, okay? Shift A, add a principal volume and select this not principal volume okay no 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 not a principal volume please go here add a mixed shade of mixed shade okay and connect this surface okay friends add shift a and add a math node duplicate this math node connect to this math node here and connect to this math node math not here okay change the add to multiply change the add to multiply okay decrease increase the value of this 1.30 so now okay let's create a color ramp shift a i know just give me one minute please okay now it's looking good shift a Add a color ramp, color ramp modifier, and click on this. Okay, duplicate this color ramp and click on this. Decrease the value of white, decrease the value of white. So, okay, go here, shift A, add a noise texture, connect the fact to fact. Go here and 4D, okay? But nothing is happening here, why? Don't worry, we are going to create immediately and soon. Press Ctrl V. You should know that you have to enable Node Wrangler, okay? Node Wrangler. Go here, scale is little bit, okay? And increase the detail value to seven. Roughness is okay and now it's okay. Okay, okay. So what we do now, Shift A. Create another mix shader, mix shader, and connect to this. Shift A, add a Fresnel. Okay, go here and click on this. Go here, decrease the Fresnel value to 6, 5. Okay, I know that nothing is happening here, but don't worry, we are going to making soon because we are completing our shading. Okay, shift A, add another color ramp. Okay, go here and click on this. Now look at this. There is a reflection on it. So first go here, ambient, screen reflection and anything is all. Okay, 
everything is on shift D and let's connect this now increase the fresnel value to I can show you increase the fresnel value to 1.30 it's enough okay okay it's enough okay so so what we do now shift a add uh, mm, so let's create another thing what so let's create let's create emission emission now the amazon is created here so what we do now just go here and sorry click on the pack the amazon is here click on the shader okay so now let's create color i will like this color this is our internal reflection of our crystal okay so don't be worry about it then shift a add a principal bsdf and connect the bsdf to shader okay and now look at this just take a minute okay now shift a add a glass bsdf so go here okay and now this is time to create a glass color what which color you like i like this color okay my crystal is little bit ready but not much so what we do now shift a add a color ramp go here connect the color ramp to roughness increase just wait it more okay now go here increase the value of our color ramp sorry yes go here black and little bit white okay so what we do now go here to fact connect this fact to color of the noise and just wait it's look amazing our crystal is little bit ready but not much more so let's shift a add a normal map okay add a normal to normal here and go to the strength to the pack so now my crystal is ready here but let's modify this little bit more what just go here if i increase the scale also so look at this go here my crystal is here it's looking perfect so if i increase the scaling the value details okay ha one minute please object now look at this this is looking amazing but if you think there is a problem so then then don't worry about it just decrease this and increase this now the fresnel the value the crystal is ready to be here and increase the roughness of our crystal increase the ior value but ior value is too good so not be to be changed change the strength value okay 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 little bit change this value little bit and now my crystal is ready here with the more efforts we have done that's my crystal is ready to here my procedural crystal is ready so what we do now there is a one thing we should do now what just take a break yeah please what we do now go here and if i increase the emission strength to 2 but it's looking weird so decrease the emission okay now you can see that the crystal is ready but let's change the color little bit now it's looking perfect and if i increase this value to here 
Hmm. Now, so friends, I think that you like this video because we are created a procedural crystal in Blender 2.931 and this is a very amazing tutorial that I have made by myself. So please, I think you like this video and if you like this, then please subscribe my channel. One thing is remaining. Left, look at this. Go here, just here, shift A, sorry, not here. Go to this, go here, add a camera. Let's add a camera, go here. and and x rotation is 0 not 0 is 90 z rotation is 0 now what we do now just go here shift a add a bezier circle s increase the value go here increase the value okay go to the 3d cursor step and now go to the 3d cursor and take the 3d cursor to here tap press the sorry i'll do that here go to here tap click on this press shift s selection to cursor go here now let down a little bit so what we do now just one thing shift this this and this control p and let's connect this follow path and now look at this look at this it's looking amazing yeah it's looking very 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 amazing in this blender 2.93 tutorial so i think you like this video very very much and if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and if you have any question regarding this tutorial then please comment to me and i know that I will create an amazing tutorial one by one in my channel then please subscribe my channel and please 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 comment on this okay friends thank you to watch my video meet in next video nice to meet you thank you